Whoa, they just released Quiet Global Money Infrastructure, the USDC and the 2030 Agenda have just went into hyperdrive. So if you've been watching this channel and you're like, well, when is all of this going to come? Well, my friend, they just flipped a switch under our noses and let's talk about it. Listen, something major just happened in the global money agenda, okay? And most people are going to miss it because it did not arrive with a crisis headline. President Donald Trump isn't necessarily talking about it. They're really talking about travel bans, which we'll cover in another video. But listen, services for U.S. financial institutions using the Solana blockchain with Cross River Bank and Lead Bank are acting as the first participants in a broader rollout that is expected in none other than 2026. Not 2027, not 2030, not 2035. This upcoming year that's literally just like a couple of days away. 2026. And on the surface, this may sound technical, maybe even a little bit boring, but here's why it's actually not boring. This move quietly signals how money itself is being re-engineered for the next decade and how the infrastructure of the 2030 global economic agenda is being laid down in plain sight. So here's what was announced. Visa is one of the most powerful payment systems across the entire world, like you can pretty much use Visa and MasterCard anywhere, is now allowing select U.S. banks to settle transactions using USDC, a regulated stable coin, a crypto coin, instead of relying exclusively on traditional banking rails. This is insane, right? Like literally this coming year is the year of crypto, I guess because the USDC is a dollar-backed stablecoin crypto coin issued by Circle. Transactions are being settled on Solana, if you know, you know, a high-speed blockchain, and the initial participants are U.S. financial institutions like credit unions, banks, payment processors. Wider institutional rollout is expected by 2026. This is not some type of like quick crypto experiment. This is literally the next cycle of infrastructure testing and stabilizing before they roll out the entire 2030 agenda. Like, yo, listen, folks, we are running out of time for the 2030 agenda. Like, if you had plans to exit America, to go to Belize, to go to Puerto Rico, to go to Portugal, to go to Morocco, Ghana, Senegal, Botswana, Namibia, Kenya, Mauritius, you had better speed up your plans like today like really sit down and speed your plans up because we are entering the ai crypto world of 2030 before 2030 is even here oh and if you're sitting here like chip why does this even matter oh well let me tell you why it matters so much 14 trillion dollars in transactions annually go through Visa. When Visa tests a new settlement layer, it's not for retail investors. This is for systemic scalability in more than 200 countries, guys. More than 200 countries. Like Solana could be coming out here to Mauritius if people are using Visa and we use Visa cards. Well, not everybody, but some people use Visa cards, okay? Traditional banking settlements can take one to three business days domestically, three to seven days internationally, and blockchain settlement can occur in literally just seconds to minutes, minutes on the long side of that continuum. 24-7 without weekends or holidays, Solana specifically is capable of handing tens of thousands of transactions per Second, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So when you're sitting and your bank transfer is like, it's going to take 24 hours. It's going to take three to seven business days. Are you trying to send money over here? That's going to take a little while. Are you trying to send money to India, South Africa, Egypt, wherever you're going. I don't know where you're going, but yeah, you try and send that money and it takes days. Oh, this just obliterates that. Everybody's going to be hyper, super, super connected in this new 2030 agenda. And listen, this combination is not accidental.
So by 2030, institutions are openly targeting faster border payments, reduced reliance on correspondent banking, increased transparency and traceability of money flows, and greater financial inclusion through these digital rails. The Bank for International Sediments has repeatedly emphasized that the future of money is going to be digital, interoperable, and programmable. Stable coins act as a bridge between traditional fiat systems and fully digital financial infrastructure. Visa's move positions USDC, that US dollar-backed governmental stable coin, not as the alternative to the system, but literally just as the system itself. This is not crypto versus banks though. The narrative is outdated. What we're seeing instead is a convergence between the old world and this AI innovative new tech world that everybody's going to be living in, where banks don't want volatile assets, governments don't want untraceable money, and payment networks want speed, scale, and control. So stable coins like the USDC, Solana, XRP, offer dollar-dominated value, denominated value, regulatory compliance, and real-time settlement with full audit ability. From a systems perspective, this is almost perfect if you're like, hey, thinking in systems and banking and infrastructure. But here's what this signals for the rest of 2026 going into 2030. This is the part that people don't really want to say plainly. Once settlement structure moves on chain, Money becomes faster, like lightning speed, but also more observable, more surveilled, more controlled, and absolutely more programmable. This opens the door to conditional payments, automated compliance, instant sanctions and freezes, you know, on our lives. If you have not seen Journey With Us live, it's like, what are you doing? But on our last lives, we were talking about how Russian foreign assets have been frozen in Belgium. And so with this type of thing passing through, they'll be able to do that even quicker in the future to decide, you know, if they want to lock out Russia, if they want to lock out in Iran, if they want to lock out of Venezuela, you're going to see these things happen quicker. And so the stakes are going to be higher and a little bit closer to World War III when it feels like you can just lock somebody out of their finances, especially if they have invested in that country. This is why we tell our clients and even our children go to neutral territories because the world that's coming you want to understand the dynamics that are going to make up the AI revolution world you're going to have to be a little more neutral and a little more understanding a little more respectful and quite honestly compliant with some of these systems for you to even be able to move around and have that freedom that you want outside of America. You're gonna have to choose the right countries because in an instant, especially once they unleash these travel alerts where they just banned over 29 countries and added Nigeria and Tanzania to the list of countries where their citizens cannot come into America, you are going to see these freezes and closures happen so much faster than ever before. And so it's just not the time to be this radical person. It's really the time to be in the book of Matthew, silent as, or like this, wise as a serpent, silent as a dove. That is the phrase, that is the verse. And really meditate on what it means to be wise as a serpent. A serpent is sleek and they look at everything quietly. You typically don't see them looking at everything until they come up and they bite you or they're right next to you. You don't see them for some time. And then a dove is very gentle and kind and neutral. It's not a lion, it's not a tiger, it's not a bear, it's relaxed. It's just floating in the breeze, floating in the sky, doing its thing. That's the way that you need to be. Now here's the reason they are choosing Solana for capacity. I want you to consider this. Visa can handle 65,000 transactions per second at their peak. Solana's architecture is actually designed to support similar scale. And Ethereum by comparison is still constrained by throughputs and fees. So this tells us something very critical. The future payment layer is being optimized for volume and not privacy. So they're more focused as any capitalist society is on volume, getting all those clients, all those customers to process their payments super fast over a few seconds over saying, hey, we wanna make sure that this is like ethical and private and that people still have like their own ability to have this 
aspect of just human freedom that's really just not going to exist in the post 2030 world and it will arrive for everyone as faster payments fewer delays more digital only rails and less tolerance for offline financial behavior cash is not going to necessarily disappear overnight unless you're in france okay but preference will shift and once preference shifts policy follows the bigger pattern that we track here at journey with us media is this this announcement comes alongside the digital ids the travel restrictions residency tightening president donald trump also not wanting immigrants to come to america cross-border movement controls happening in real time these systems are not being isolated they're being built to talk with each other in their own technological language finance identity travel compliance the 2030 agenda is not a single policy it's an entire stack of super surveillance control shalom shalom i'll see you in the next video